Good evening, my brothers and sisters in Christ and guests. Vicki here coming to you from Southeast Central Kansas. It's time for the washroom report. A lot to go over, okay? It is Friday, uh, June 17th, 2022. And the time here is 8.56 p.m. Central Standard Time. Update first. Um on the Israel, it showed it to be rockets on the app, six of them, but Israel is saying that it was one rocket, and it was the sirens were activated in six separate regions in the Ashkelon region, and it was intercepted by Iron Dome. Praise the Lord. Amen. Okay. There is so much going on, and there was another breaking development three hours before 7.30 when I gave out the uh, alert about the rocket fire. Um, and we'll get to that here in a moment, but let's get started. What a time to be alive in Christ. If you've never asked the Lord Jesus Christ to be your Savior, please do so now. Christ was crucified for the sins of the world, exactly as the scriptures proclaim, and God the Father raised him from the dead on the third day. He is alive, he is well, he is seated on the throne in heaven, and all glory goes to him. The victory is his. He is already won. Um, and the rapture of the church, also known as the Bride of Christ, is about to be removed off the face of this earth. And you do not want to be here for God's righteous judgment and indignation upon a Christ-rejecting earth. Okay. Okay. This came out. U.S.-led coalition says that it has arrested an ISIS bomb maker, one of the top leaders in Syria, okay? Turkish Parliament Commission approved a bill seeking up to three years in jail for those spreading disinformation, aka truth, on the internet. Netanyahu in the Knesset said to Arbach, quote, you said that the experiment failed and you were right. At a crucial moment, action must be taken. For the first time in Europe, the uh, Catalan Regional Parliament has recognized the apartheid crimes that it, Israel is committing wrong. This has all come out from yesterday. Fire at a pet store in Cryon. Firefighters rescued rabbits by hand. Dozens of customers were evacuated. That was in Israel. Alarm in Kiev during a visit by Macron and the leaders of Germany, uh, Schultz, and Italy, uh, Draghi, we will send weapons as long as it is required. Russia is not happy, okay? Britain again raised interest rates. Negative trend in stock exchanges in Israel and around the world. It's all fixing to fall down, all of it. You are not going to be able to find food, water. 
There will be no money unless you take the mark of the beast. And we believe it is in the shots. Okay. Uh, probably number six. It will be in your right hand or in your forehead or it's going to be an RFID chip or some sort of uh, tattoo. Don't do it. Because if you do take that, if you're left here for the seven-year Great Tribulation, three and a half years of Great Tribulation, and then three and a half years of complete wrath of God, um, it is written, Revelation 13 and Revelation 14, if you take the mark, if you worship the beast and worship his image and take the mark of the beast which is the number 666 has something to do with ai in the computer okay and merging man woman child with machine okay forbidden you will go to the depths of hell forever forever you will be tormented with fire hell brimstone Yeah, I'm a little perturbed because people need to wake up. M.K. Mozzi Raz sent a letter to De uh, Defense Minister Gantz demanding the cancellation of the military exercise plan to take place in the area of Safar Yata in the southern Hebron Mountains starting this coming Monday, quote, it should be obvious no live fire training is held where people live, said Roz. Israel's in trouble, y'all. The Taliban, talking about Afghanistan, the Taliban's religious police, yeah, Sharia law, have put up posters across southern Afghan city of Kandahar saying that Muslim women who do not wear a hijab that fully covers their bodies are trying to look like animals. Then sanctions were put against the Russian Orthodox Church, Patriarch Kirill, okay, and its leaders imposed by Britain for uh, his support of Moscow's military intervention in Ukraine. The Kremlin warns against new Western weapons supplies to Ukraine as French President Emmanuel Macron, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, and Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi arrived in Kiev. Sydney, Australia. Hi, y'all. Love you guys. Residents have been urged, and they're in the middle of winter. It's cold there, okay? To conserve power in the evening as much as possible to avert blackouts. One day after Australia suspended its spot electricity market due to unscheduled outages at aging coal-fired utilities because they are in the climate change lie and they will let you freeze to death or burn to death. They do not care the world powers that be. Iran's authorities arrest a person accused of having a link to two French citizens being held on espionage charges. Their state television reports. It's hostage taking is what it is. A Turkish court imprisoned pending trial 16 Kurdish journalists and media workers who were arrested after being accused of spreading 
terrorist propaganda, a.k.a. truth. Erdogan is the biggest terrorist there is. Go on. Yeah, that was reported through their media. Crowds in India. Hi, sister. Love you. Set a train coach on fire and block railway tracks and roads in protests against a new military recruitment system, police say. Revlon, Revlon makeup people, owned by American billionaire Rom Perelman, files for Chapter 11. Unable to manage its heavy debt load after failing to tap into a cosmetic sales boom driven by social media influences. The ethics advisor to Prime Minister Boris Johnson quit over a culture of rule-breaking in government. A month after sandstorms engulfed large swaths of Saudi Arabia, the kingdom is breaking, uh, bracing for another shift in weather with four days of thunderstorms and torrential rain predicted in parts of the country. I'm sure it's going to be floods. Massive floods. We're having them here. Okay. Israel invested $1.2 billion in 2021 in upgrading its nuclear weapons, says Switzerland-based organization ICANN. No official confirmation of this, but... Earlier satellite images showed major construction at Israel's primary nuke reactor site in Demona. Year after the 2021 Gaza war, only 11 rockets fired since conflict ended. Damage in Gaza estimated at over $160 million. IDF says Hamas to launch Surprise raid into Israel by dozens of terrorists to start next war. See, Israel is aware. They know. They don't know it's biblical, but they know they're enemies. Mossad is on it. Okay? USA, hundreds of anti-Semitic flyers delivered. Delivered to South Tampa Homes, Florida. And this was from yesterday, so it was probably from the night before. Overnight, 11 wanted terror suspects were arrested in Yehuda and Shamron terror points. Iran sanctions alert. A slate of new designations related to uh, Trillian's petrochemical with entities located in China and the UAE. A gradual increase in sanctions enforcement continues. Coalition forces detained. Uh, they didn't detain him. They arrested him. On June 16th, yesterday, ISIS guy in Syria. Okay. Then, let me turn it down because it'll be loud. In Western Galilee Hospital, Naharia, a foreign guest arrived at the outpatient clinic to the astonishment of the patients and patients in the outpatient clinics at the hospital. A long snake passed inside the corridor and tried to grab towards the roof ceiling. At the end, a snake catcher was summoned who rescued him safely and watched the documentation. Okay. 
I'll show you this snake. It's huge. Well, where'd it go? It's in a hospital. Really? <laughs> then the horn of the goddess is in the middle of nowhere. Masapara Yata, south of Hebron, take over a Palestinian territory. Now, it's Israel's land, okay? And this comes from someone who is Palestinian, actually, an Arab, displaced Arabs or Saudi Arabians, Jordanians, you name it. They're just displaced people. But anyway, this, I, we've spoken about this before. There was either 4,100 or 4,300 people living in this region, okay? They've been living there for 20 years. Well, this coalition government decided that they're going to start booting them to the curb and tearing down their homes. Just throw all their stuff to the curb. I don't agree with that, y'all. Right? We don't agree with that kind of stuff. I mean, seriously. And here's your images from the togetherness. We're all in this together. No, I ain't in this. Pictures, you know, the photo ops of Macron and Zelensky, and we got Olaf and Draghi, yeah. Hold on. There he is with German Chancellor Schultz. Mr. Macaroni himself. Let's all stand for the cameras. Yep, the Ten Kings are being placed right before our eyeballs. As foretold in the book of Daniel, it's all happening. Okay, where else are we? Okay, this just came out less than 24 hours ago. Okay, threats. Well, we got a little ways to go here. Where are we at? Oh, Taiwan touts ability to attack Beijing, China, with supersonic cruise missiles. Yeah. Israel and Iran, five minutes to Armageddon. Iran is constructing a vast new network of tunnels at its Natanz nuclear site that could house a massive enrichment facility that would be impervious to bunker busting bombs, and cyber attacks, the New York Times reported yesterday. The Israeli embassy in Buenos Aires, Argentina, said Thursday it was concerned over the activities in Latin America of two Iranian airlines and hailed Argentina's grounding last week of a plane with an Iranian crew 
Israel coordinates get gets approval from U.S. on Syria airstrikes. Give me a moment. I'm back. Did y'all miss me? <laughs> IDF observation balloon. This happened today now. We're we're in today. So was that US said that they're okay with IDF hitting in Syria. Huh. Sounds like provocation, right? Because I tell you right now, Russia is not. But anywho, I digress. An observation balloon crashes in Gaza under disputed circumstances. Okay? It's like a mini hot air balloon that I'm sure takes pictures, retrieves data. Okay? Well, it's crashed. And now they have it. They can repair it and use it against Israel. Okay? Iran's butcher president, Abraham Raisi, today criticized the United States for imposing new sanctions on petrochemical producers in the Islamic Republic amid a deadlock in talks aimed at reviving a nuclear deal. A Palestinian reporter working for an Iranian news agency was briefly abducted, beaten, and threatened by Palestinian gunmen after covering the violent dispersal of an Islamist student demonstration in the West Bank earlier in the week. Hamas spokesperson uh, Abdaltif al Kuno. Here we go. The cowardly assassination that the occupation carried out against a group of young men in Janine at dawn today, which this was almost, well, this was 23 hours ago reported, okay? So I'm going to assume this happened like in the wee hours yesterday morning, Israel time, okay? Three men were killed in Janine, terrorists, okay? Now, uh, I'm going to go on. Yeah, at dawn today. That was yesterday dawn. We'll only increase our people's determination and determination to resist the occupation, and it will pay the price. I got it backwards somehow. Hold on. Uh... I thought I had these for its bloodshed to be a turning point in confronting the occupation in the various regions of the West Bank. The Democratic Front for the Liberation of Palestine. We condemn the assassination of the three young men in Janine at dawn today and affirm that their blood will not be in vain. We emphasize that the policy of assassinations and cold-blooded execution of our people I don't know. I think I got it crooked somewhere. But anyway, it goes on. We'll continue its steadfastness and resistance against the occupation until the failure of its goals and crimes will not give its security on our land. We call for the escalation of the resistance in all its forms and to confront the crimes of the occupation. Yeah. It went on. Somewhere I got it crooked, though. Sorry. Because of the meager starting salary in Israel, police officers, 400 Israeli police officers have resigned since the beginning of this year. 
That's not good. In Turkey, Israelis were called to lock hotel doors. In Argentina, Israel warns of Iranian plane, which we talked about that. France has started to ban outdoor events because of the heat. So Macron is telling y'all, you can't go outside because it's just too hot. Because he cares so much about you people. Wake up. Russian natural gas flows to France via pipeline from Germany have ceased. No more. Israeli officials, a hot alert for attacks against Israelis in Istanbul this weekend. So Mossad has obviously got a hot tip, okay? Israelis staying in the city are called to leave it immediately. Israel's intelligent assessment is that Iranian agents will try to kill or capture Israelis in Istanbul, perhaps in a series of attacks. The head of the United States Marine Corps says his forces are committed to defending southwestern Japan islands as the Allies try to bolster their defenses amid growing threats from China and Russia. The United Arab Emirates has urged Iran to provide reassurances on the peaceful nature of its nuclear program after the IAEA denounced Tehran's lack of cooperation. A bomb blast, blast today, early morning, in northern Afghanistan kills at least one and wounds seven others during Friday's oh, midday prayers. There has been Del Rio sector border patrol officials report an increasing number of unaccompanied migrant children being trafficked across the Texas-Mexico border. Make no mistake about this, folks. This is child sex trafficking. New CBP data reveals 50 people on the FBI's terror watch list have been arrested by Border Patrol at the southern border so far in the first year of 2022. That's already higher than the previous five years combined. Uh, Border Patrol sources say that they, be, they have been 440,000 plus known gotaways since October, almost half a million who got away, who are in the U.S., unvetted. Representative Jim Jordan, his bluebird tweet, Border Patrol encountered 239,460 illegal aliens along the southern border in May. Just in May. Largest number ever and more than the entire population of Richmond, Virginia. I tweeted under there, I said, uh, so, what are y'all going to do about it? Seriously. This woman, Joanne Ford for Congress. Yeah. This is depravity of the last days, okay? She sent out her little chirp chirp. Minor attracted people have rights too. Pedophilia, not in God's kingdom.
Here's the footage of Iron Dome intercepting that rocket. Praise the Lord that, you know, was ab averted. Okay. Um, explosions were heard in the Ashkelon region. It's believed that there was only the one rocket. Um, that six areas were actually running to their uh, bunkers. Okay. Um, and this has to do with the three terrorists that were killed in Janine last night. Okay, that's what they're thinking. IDF spokesperson. Following a report of a warning, one launch was identified from the Gaza Strip into Israeli territory, which was intercepted by air defense fighters. And here you go. This was the big one. This came out five hours ago, and I just saw it at about 7.30 when I went back. After I had done the video, I went back to start looking to find, you know, about damage or injuries or, you know, in Israel and Ashkelon. Okay, and this I found. Huh. A blast! Yeah. An explosion was heard in western Tehran nearly half an hour ago. So, this was reported five hours ago, so five and a half hours ago. Some sort of ex massive explosion in western Tehran. Numerous reports confirmed the blast sound in western Tehran. Obviously, all in Arabic or Farsi, whatever, you know, they're speaking over there. Okay, all over the bluebird. Listen, oh, you guys see this. This was in Colombia. A Colombian explosives officer has been injured. I don't even see how he would have survived this, y'all. Attempted to disarm a motorbike bomb parked near a police station in uh, Ceres, Calca. He reportedly suffered severe injuries to his leg. And arm. Watch this. nuts, right? Argentina federal police have just conducted a raid on the hotel where the 14 Venezuelan and five Iranian crew members of the seized Venezuelan and Tresor Cargo 747 were staying. Their passports have been seized and they have been banned from leaving Argentina está finalizando este operativo. Acaba de anunciar que ha terminado el operativo aquí en Canin. Eh, bueno, vos ves el movimiento que hay tanto de la justicia, de los secretarios del juzgado de Federico Villena que están aquí en el lugar. Y hay evidentemente movimiento, fíjate vos, cómo se están llevando parte de la documentación secuestrada en cajas. Esto es tan solo... Thank God. Not that I trust Venezuela. Maduro's just as bad. That's probably all just for show. It's crazy. Um. Venezuelan military blowing up a truck carrying containers of jet fuel
Now, why would they do that? <laughs> Unprecedented. And then it's come out all, it's all over the bluebird, Pedo Joe, okay? A Florida woman who found his daughter Ashley Biden's diary in a halfway house is now been arrested and is under FBI investigation for selling the journal in which the president's daughter recalls taking showers with my dad. She was just a little girl, probably not appropriate, and details of her drug and sex addiction. Yeah, that's all over the news. Then private Massachusetts Catholic school is excommunicated by local bishop for refusing to remove BLM and pride flags on the church property, which we all know about that, so yeah, no. Keep looking up, brothers and sisters in Christ. It's time to fly in the twinkling of an eye. Love you guys. Stand strong. <sighs> Maranatha.